fishing mission to Tobago. Snook Master there already. We're not meeting now, the time is 5 o'clock, maybe 4.55. Like this 5.45. So it's waiting to go on board. As soon as we reach, touch down. We're gonna start the fish one time. Plan is to get some big snook, cavalli, snapper, tap one. Anything take line we taking it, but the target is big snook. So I'll see you when we get there. Flight is in, 45 minutes, fishing in. Maybe just over an hour. Keep fishing. As I sat on the plane waiting for it to take off, I couldn't help but getting more and more excited. I love to fish in Tobago, it's the best fishing for me, shore based fishing in Tobago, can't beat it, I love it. So I left there in the dark, as soon as we got to Tobago, the sun had just risen, it was a little bit overcast, a little bit rainy, but excitement was still very high nonetheless, couldn't wait to get my line into the water. Anyway guys, man pick them up. One fish. One, one fish. Four. We late because I'm here of course it's six I think okay, six forty or something. Going to new location. See you there. Fish on. Keep fishing, fish on. Fishing in Tobago. Now setting up my line over there, this man don't catch a kubera on the artificial already. Nice size guy. Nice coops boy. Nice coops boy. Oh, quick release. I know setting up here guys, I know setting up. I ain't a line and this man catch fish already. Yeah. Alright, nice coops here, going back into the water. Get bigger. Oh god, going straight up into the rocks. Alright guys, first cast for me. I wanna saw plastic. Four inch paddle tail. See a target in snook. After all point hard plastic and try and get still snook but the virus could take the sofa, the hard plastic too. Are we landing this fella, right? Yeah, don't walk. It's one nice one. We have to walk him around now. We've got to try. Okay, I can't go on here. Hi, you're right here, man. Yeah, we just can't walk on here, man. Go ahead, wrap. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you're up up there. <laughs> Me. You know how we take? Oh, drop it, I drop it, slow it and bump it like down the bottom. Uh, yeah. Like down the friggin' bottom dog. We get one! Nice little fella. Maybe about a two and a half feet. We have no four now. Yeah, yeah. Calm down, buddy. Perfect hook set dog. Hey guys, nice snow caught here. Nice snow caught. We finally got the target species. Half an hour into fishing or so. Let's get it. Release. release. Okay, keep it low. Baby. That was impossible too. Nice. Alright, maybe about a three and a half ming. What's the four? Three? Uh, three and a half. Yeah, one shot coming out of the water there. Nice guy. Ready? Point yeah. in. Release him safely, guys. Go. Hey. Back into the depths. Nice one, dog. Dog. Pumping on the bottom, dog. Come on. 
Alright guys, that's what the fish took right there. A four inch soft plastic. So target species acquired. Let's see if we can repeat that. That's what you call finesse fishing at its best. Coming. <laughs> Same thing he bite though, the drop on pull. What kind of footage I get there guys but Nice little jack This is a second fish here guys A little jack cravale On the soft plastic again It's going to release him Oh on the GoPro I take off the GoPro I don't know why do they This fish is strong like a guy Alright guys, quick change of law to end the morning session for our crystal minnow redhead. A big size fella. When we first had the fish here we see three and a half inch and catch snook. But we're up in the game. Five inch. Big snook. Obara. That's what we're going for. Oh a big jack. Taking anyone. Got ten minutes with this. Soft plastic working, but you know, always had a try. First little barra, oh my god, look at the size of this fish compared to this law. Hi, wicked. This fish, wicked dog. Nice barrel on here, chase after Stuck Master guys. And I hook him from behind. Nice one. Huh? Yeah, two, the next one right behind him still. Where, where, where? Right behind my one. Throw behind it, throw behind it. Throw behind it fast. Yeah, bring it in. Nice barra here guys Chase after snook master and I'll catch him on the follow up <laughs> Yeah it was right behind him Yeah, guys, maybe about a three, four pounder, not very big, but decent size. Give him a nice little fight on the light tackle. Nice We're not gonna reach him safely, I have to go them hooks from him. Yeah, good hook. Crystal Minnow. Decent size, give him a nice little fight.
point that said the next whistle. <laughs> so it bites me. Nice one. Yeah, man. It's a little follow up. The follow stop master. I throw my law behind his law. Is that my law bigger than his one? And he snatched it. Nice fella. Yeah? Barra, barra. Barra, barra. Another little barra here, guys. It's another one. This fish taking this big law like nothing, dog. Nice one still though. Not a baby bar right here guys. They're hungry today. They're hungry today. Calm down buddy. Hey guys, that's our update. It's just now is about what time it is now, bro. Hey right, guys, let's give our update. Now it's about five to two. Morning session fish. We caught a snook, Kal Cavalli, a uh, couple small snappers. Little lunchtime session. We caught catch a couple small barrels. We still fishing for them. Sun blazing hot. Now switch up laws to put on this. Snook master still casting behind there. Just attracting, not looking. He trapped. Oh, no, yeah, by there. Oh. Serious? Yeah. Actually, I think I turned up with your partner. <laughs> Oh my god, I see that fish right there. There's Albara. Sit down right there. It is Albara. Sit down right there. Is it? Try line thing. So we're going to keep on fishing, guys. If you catch anything else, you'll see it. Um, so far, we have the evening session planned for the zone for the big snook. So we're still trying. If we catch something, you'll see it. If not, let's keep on fishing. Fish on. Alright, guys, we come for the evening session now. And I got a little break, had some lunch. So we're going to try an hour, maybe an hour and a half. If daylight permits, we're looking for a big snook, a barra. Anything we take in, but the target is big snook. We're going to try them. I'm using extra. Switch this off plastic after a while. See how it goes. Keep fishing, fishing. We had a pretty good day so far with the evening session, didn't live up to the hype. We were really hoping to hook into a big fish, the conditions were right, the water was good. We had seen some fish early in the day and we had the right laws. Our expectation and hope was really high, we really thought we'd get that big fish that evening, but it just didn't happen. That's fishing, shore based fishing especially, and just never know the fish will be there. We did get a, one really good bite, I thought it was probably a big snook, but we didn't get to see the fish. But we still enjoyed, you know, cast after cast. The place was very beautiful, picturesque. And like I said, shore based fishing is my favorite type of fishing. You can't beat it. Just fishing there with you never know what to take your line. I love it. But again, we were disappointed that evening, but still a good day overall. Alright guys, last 15 minutes of fishing here, we're trying them with the soft plastic again, Snook Master have a hard bait on. 
Now or never, we try and that's all we could do. Keep pushing, push on. I just like bonks in it. Yeah, I see it. Like they're coming here, like they're coming, like they're coming here, boy. I see the back. All right, guys. That ends the one-day fishing session in Tobago. Tried them in last year. We get one nice bite. They don't just didn't stick. Still, I got the overall catch a couple, one snook, a couple of snapper, and some barras. We want again one day fishing, inshore fishing, can't beat it, real fun. So, after I'm going to early late. So, we had a now now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks as always for watching. Love the inshore fishing. Keep fishing, fish on. After a great day of fishing in Tobago, back to Trinidad. A short 20 minute flight away. If you ever visit Trinidad or if you are from Trinidad, I highly recommend going to Tobago. There's not especially sites, the beaches, but the fish. The shore based fishing in Tobago is great. Anywhere you have water, you can cast a line and catch a good fish. So, if you ever visit Trinidad, like I said, make sure to get to Tobago. Even a one day trip, you can do what I did here. I fly a short flight in the morning, short flight back, and enjoy yourself. Tobago is great.